Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about replication events. Suppose you have some task, you want to perform some task on activation or deactivation of some page or asset. So in that case, you can listen for the replication event. You can write an event handler for replication event and you can perform your task based on the activation or deactivation. In this tutorial, I'll talk about how you can write a event handler for replication event using OSGI API. I'll show you the demo how you can do that. I have already explained OSGI API for event handling but let me reiterate a bit. So event handler are registered with the framework and notified with the event object. This event object will contain all the information which is required for your operation and this event object will contain what kind of event topic you are using means what kind of events you will be listening to so if you want to define like what kind of event this event handler will be listening to you can do that by adding a event dot topic inside the at the rate component annotation so you till now what i explain like how you can listen for the event of resource add remove or modify so in case of replication you can give a event or topic which is relevant to listening for your replication event and using event or filter you can filter like from where you want to listen or under which path you want to listen those events or an, any other filter now let's go to demo part where I explain how you can write that event handler for replication event I have written a OHJ event handler. Writing event handler is exactly same. I am implementing that event handler, OHJ event handler. And when you implement this, you have to give the implementation of handle event, where the event object is passed by framework, what a, which contain all the information. Uh, one point you need to understand here is the replication. Replication dot from event. Basically, this method will convert this event object is of OSGI event. So this method will convert OSGI event to a replication event if possible. So in that case, we were converting OSGI event to a replication event. And how you can define like what kind of event it will be listening to. So event dot topic, I'm giving here replication dot event dot topic. So this topic is for the listening replication event. So now if I'm only giving this replication topic, so this handler will be only listening to the replication events. Replication events means activation, deactivation. So what I'm doing here, first I'm printing in logs, like what is the topic? I know what is this topic, but whatever this topic is, this will print here. Okay. And I'm saying, okay, uh, from that event, uh, from OSGI event, convert that to replication event and give me the type. What is the type? If it is activation uh, means activate then i'm just printing in logs like this page has been or the asset has been activated in case of deactivation it will give this block will execute and it will give you the information like this has been act, uh, deactivation de deactivated so as per your task you can perform if you want to perform some task on activation means activation event when you publish or uh, activate any page or asset you can write the code for your operation inside here in this block and for the deactivation same you can write here so that way you can achieve uh, this event handling for replication events now let me build it and let me show you by activating some page build has been done now let me publish this page demo one so let's quick publish so as soon as i publish this page if you go to the logs so the information has been provided if you check here uh, just check this information this is information for this one okay this upper logs are from some other so if you see here the event type is application means this is the event topic and the event is this page this page has been published okay so because i published this page so it will give you it, it is going in this if block and it's printing which page or which asset has been published so if i deactivate this page okay let me deactivate this page unpublish so if i'm doing right now 
and if I go to logs so it, it is saying okay page deactivated so it is giving the information of the same page this has been deactivated so using this event handler now you have the path of your asset or page now you can get that and you can perform your operation whatever you need either on this page or asset by converting resource or node uh, or as per your requirement so i hope you understood this was a bit different event handler but this is important sometime you need this so if you have any question please do comment thank you